Hello and welcome to the Encouraging Word of the Day. Today is Monday. It is September the 12th and we're going to pick up here in the Encouraging Word of God. And as we do, uh, we have been on a tremendous journey coming through the book of Matthew. And as we're getting closer to the end, the theme of the book really begins to amplify itself. And that is the salvation of our Lord. The salvation of our Lord. To deliver us from sin and allow us to under, to have that forgiveness and understand his love and that uh, God demonstrated his love toward us and that while we were sinners, uh, Christ died for us. And that's why we should die to self and live for him. As Paul would say, I die daily. I, I, it, from, uh, for me to live is Christ. And I, I want to I wanna bring other people into this glorious uh, knowledge and wisdom of the salvation of our Lord, for I do know that apart from the salvation of our Lord, what the eternal destiny of every soul is bound for. And the reality is, is even though they are bound to spend eternity in hell, God never prepared, God never desired for them to spend eternity in hell. He's, he's been pleading the whole entire book, please come to salvation he says, listen, I have set before you life and death to choose life that you may live. But the reality is, is that hell is the consequences of not allowing Christ to forgive us of our sin. Hell is the, the uh, eternal holding place for those who have rebelled and rejected uh, God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and his gift of salvation. Hell was never meant for one single human being. And I know that because of what the scripture says here, falling off the heels of Jesus saying, listen, go and feed those who are hungry and those who thirst and those who are sick and those who are in prison and uh, and those who, who, who need clothing. You, you, you go and minister to those folks because in doing so, you have an opportunity to present the saving gospel to them because I don't want them to perish. I don't want anyone to perish. And the proof is in the pudding when it comes to the scripture here, as he says, on the heels of that. Uh, and then the king shall answer to them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto me, the least of these my brethren, or inasmuch as you have done it unto the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left. So he says, You did this, and you did such a good job at loving others and sharing the gospel. But to the other side, the other side, who only made life about themselves, only made life about their wishes and whims and the flesh uh, and and their uh, their, their desires, uh, they're going to have to uh, face the eternal God one day when he comes. And this is what the whole uh, 24 and 25 is all about, is his coming and eternity, and it's, it's going to be set up. And then, then shall he say unto them on the left hand, depart from me, you cursed. You, you, you fell into the under the curse of sin, and you, you did nothing, nothing to reverse the curse, and you had every opportunity to reverse the curse. You, I've called, and I've, and I've beckoned, and I've pleaded, and I've, I've shown you the way of salvation. I've shown you the depth of my love for you uh, and how I will save you, and we're going to see that passion as we move beyond here in Matthew chapter 26, but he says, depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire. There's hell, and so the, the reality is there is a hell. And for all of those who have made life about themselves and sin, and they love their sin, they just stay in their sin, they don't repent, they don't get right with God, they're going to go into an everlasting fire. And that's just a reality. There are two realities, and we see that across the lens of human history. Wherever you see graves, wherever you see those where death has occurred, you always see crosses. And then you look on the TVs, and you look on the screens, and you see crosses hanging everywhere, crosses on people's ears, crosses around people's neck, crosses tattooed on their arms, and yet living in immorality and gross sin and not turning and not coming to Jesus and oh my gosh they're going to go to an eternal hell an eternal flame that was not prepared for them but they will endure it for all of eternity because here's what he says depart from me you cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. It wasn't prepared for humanity. Humanity will suffer hell. 
with the devil and his angels because they would not come to him, because they would not bow the knee and repent of their sin and confess, oh, God, save me, a wretched sinner. I know there's nothing good in me. I know there's no way for me to earn my way into your into into your presence. But oh, I bow my knee before you today and I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, my Savior, this one who came and done all these miraculous miracles and healings and wonderful works. But he did so that he can show me that I was a sinner in need of salvation to deliver me from this eternal fire that was going to be my eternal home. But yet now, because of my Lord, because of my Savior, and because of what he's gone through, I will be able to spend eternity in his absolute presence, his wonderful presence. And then we see that it, the reality is it is just about us. And he says, for when I was hungered, you gave me no meat. And I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick, and, and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they say unto him, Lord... When saw we, we hungered and a thirst and stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto them? And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as you did it not unto the one of the least of these, you did it not unto me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment. But listen, you see, here's the deal. This is the reality. If you choose life to do it on your terms and in your way, you will spend eternity in hell, in punishment. But... But the righteous into eternal life. So you can either experience eternal punishment, eternal death, or you can experience eternal life and eternal righteousness. The choice is yours to choose. And from this point on, Jesus is going to show you what he was willing to do, that you may be able to have life. And so I pray that this journey that we make to the end of this book will be the most important journey uh, journey to you and declare uh, disclose to you the glorious and most wonderful truth the world has ever heard it's not just good news it's the best news ever so go forth today mighty in the name of your lord and savior jesus christ and be encouraged